So free agency is just going along today. It's been kind of quiet, but we've had a few moves here and there. And Dwayne Allen gets traded to the New England Patriots for a fourth rounder that goes to the Colts. And the Patriots get Allen and a sixth pick back. So now the Patriots are hefty at the tight end position. Once again, because Marcellus Bennett did not want to re-sign. So they went and grabbed Dwayne Allen for him. And then we get the news that Romo, as we all have been expecting, will finally be released tomorrow on Thursday. And Ian Rappaport adds the Broncos and Texans in the tweet because those are the two favorites front, front runners to get Tony Romo. And we're going to talk about these moves and where Romo will go in this video. So as you see in the picture, as it was tweeted about today, Dwayne Allen has been traded to the New England Patriots. So this move does make sense because the Patriots uh, were very happy with the two tight end plays that they were doing because obviously it was working well for them because Martellus Bennett and Ron Gronkowski gelled pretty well, I believe, and they did pretty good. Martellus Bennett, I think, had a pretty good year with the Patriots. I wouldn't know exact statistics because I'm a Patriots fan. And then Gronk got hurt and they had to roll with Martellus Bennett. And now they're going to trade for Dwayne Allen because it only makes sense because they want to run the two tight end. Uh, plays again, so they needed a second tight end because Martellus Bennett did not want to re-sign, and who knows where Martellus Bennett is going to go now, but now the Patriots have Dwayne Allen to uh, go alongside Gronkowski. Hopefully Gronk can stay healthy this year because he did not play in the Super Bowl this past season because he got hurt. I forgot, I forgot what he broke or what he got hurt, but I remember I think it was, I think Earl Thomas or Cam Chancellor like hit the crap out of him, like I think it was ribs. I don't remember. I remember there was a big hit, though, I believe, and that's why Gronkowski was out for the season. But now Dwayne Allen gets to come join the Patriots and run the two tight end plays, and hopefully it works. I mean, obviously when you have Tom Brady thrown to you, it should work because Tom Brady is a great quarterback. And the Bro Patriots may not even be done yet. I've heard rumors that they're trying to grab Deshaun Jackson and Brandon, or one of the other, Brandon Cooks or Deshaun Jackson. Either one of those players would be insane with the New England Patriots. The Patriots would be a great team to go to the Super Bowl. It would be a favorite to go to the Super Bowl if they added a weapon like that because with a weapon like that alongside Julian Edelman and Amendola, geez, what can you get? And now they, uh, the more um, appealing news, Tony Romo finally gets released. By Dallas Cowboys. We were expecting this all the way from last season. I mean, Dak Prescott went out there and played well. There was no way Romo was probably going to get his job back, new starting job back. And I loved seeing Romo play against the Eagles. I think it was that, the, that one drive. He looked phenomenal. He looked really good. He threw a touchdown to Dez, I think it was. Or was it Dez or Terrence Williams? I can't remember. But he looked good. And uh, wherever he decides to go or wherever he lands, they got a great quarterback in Tony Romo. Assuming the guy could stay healthy, he is a good quarterback. If he could stay healthy, that would be awesome. Now, where he goes, I could see the Broncos being the best possible choice because they definitely need a quarterback. I mean, Trevor Simeon is good and all, but I think that you bring Romo in and then he Paxton Lynch can learn behind Romo, and when Romo is ready to retire, then boom, Paxton Lynch can start as he was learning behind Tony Romo the past two seasons or three seasons Romo decides to keep playing. Or, I guess there's the Texans as well. But with the Texans, I mean, will they have to, they'll probably have to release Brock Oswald. I mean, I don't see why there'd be a point of keeping Brock on the team with that hefty contract. I'm assuming Romo will want a decent contract to play. I mean, I don't think he's going to play for like a million dollars or something. I'm sure he's going to want a pretty sizable contract as well. Uh, so the Texans and... The Broncos are the favorites, but I see the Broncos being the better fit. I've also heard the Bears in the mix, uh, but they just recently got Mike Glennon today, so uh, I don't know. Wherever Romo 
lands, it'll be an upgrade at quarterback for them because he is a great quarterback. I mean, the Redskins, I don't think he would ever go to Washington, but if we get rid of Kirk, I would, as a Redskins fan, I wouldn't mind Romo at this point because I don't want no dumb quarterback starting for us. I mean, the Redskins' future is up in the air at this point. Everything is going wrong right now. But enough about Washington. Romo, uh, wherever he decides to go, uh, if he went to the Texans, he would have DeAndre Hopkins to throw to, C.J. Fedorsowitz, which isn't a bad tight end. And I think he needs to go to the Broncos. I've heard the Chiefs being in the mix, too, and then there's Alex Smith, so that would be kind of weird. I don't know. I think that it is probably down to Broncos and Texans. And my favorite here is the Broncos. It just fits better to me and makes more sense to me. All right, guys, this is all we're going to be talking about for today. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. We're going to be recapping free agency the whole time it is going on. We're just going to do tr tons of topics. I cannot wait. I mean, we didn't even get that big of signings today. It's kind of a quiet day, but uh, that's all good and fine. But if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out a lot. As always, guys, this is Crushables, and I'm saying peace.